The aim of this unit is to give you either a basic grounding or a quick refresher on the type of research methods that are used in HCI or in psychology as a whole. First we'll look at the steps in designing and planning a research project. Then we'll look at the differences between qualitative and quantitative research, but for finally looking at specific research methods more in depth. Don't worry, it's not a heavy duty data analysis unit more like an overview of the types of research methods that are most common in HCI research. Because you will be able to think through and design a research study, you will also be able to critically evaluate research. You will know what questions to ask of the research in order, in order to judge whether it is any good. At this stage in your studies in HCI, this is a very impressive outcome. Research methods will also help you to tackle any design problems that you encounter as part of your assessment for this module. Research methods in HCI differ. Much usability research is carried out via questionnaire, whereas ethnographic research is often employed when trying to gather user requirements. What's interesting also is how the advent of technology has changed research methods. For instance, in your readings, you would read about a study that uses mobile phones and voicemails for data collection, and you'll see how computer programs can aid the process of qualitative analysis. 